This video is provided for informational purposes only. It should not be solely relied upon when installing your Marley NC cooling tower. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. Your Marley NC cooling tower was likely configured with a guardrail and ladder for safely accessing the cooling tower's fan deck. The guardrail configuration depends on the cooling tower's ladder location. The two most common ladder locations are on the cased face or along the air inlet side. The air inlet side is sometimes referred to as the louver face. Before proceeding, determine your cooling tower's guardrail configuration and ladder location. This video will cover guardrail installation on an NC cooling tower with a cased face ladder, as shown here. The drawings and figure numbers for your guardrail and ladder are included in the field installation manual that ships with your NC cooling tower. For more information, watch Episode 2, Installation Drawings, in this video series. Be sure to use nylock nuts for all stainless steel fasteners. Lock washers are only required for galvanized fasteners. On stainless steel towers, hardware that attaches directly to the tower is also stainless steel. All remaining hardware is galvanized. Stainless steel bolts are prone to galling. Generously apply thread lubricant Z21 to the threads of stainless steel bolts before tightening nuts. Be sure to watch episode 3, Necessary Hardware, for more information on procedures to organize hardware prior to installation. If your cooling tower was configured for a case face ladder, it includes a guardrail around the fan deck and a ladder attached to the cased face for maintenance access. Follow these instructions to install your cooling tower's guardrail system for this option. First, install the first half of the air inlet side guardrail section, in this case, assembly number L32, to the corner column and existing post clips as shown here. Next, install the other half of the guardrail section, in this case assembly number L33, to the corner column. Bolt both guardrail sections together, as shown here. The process for installing guardrail sections L32 and L33 will be identical on both air inlet sides of the cooling tower. Always reference fine numbers, installation drawings, and hardware descriptions to select the correct hardware for these steps. Be sure all necessary bolts, washers, and nuts are in place at the tower corners and at guardrail connection points before proceeding. After installation of the air inlet side guardrails, install the plugs, assembly L28 here, in the top of all vertical guardrail posts as shown. Next, follow this process to install the guardrail on the cased face of the tower without the ladder. Begin by installing guardrail section L37 to the existing post clips as shown here. Next, install guardrail section L35 to the L37 section and to the air inlet side guardrail assembly that was just installed. On larger Marley NC models, install guardrail section L34 to existing post clips and the existing air inlet faced guardrail system. Next, install guardrail section L36 between L34 and L37. After all guardrail sections are fully installed, insert plugs L28 into the tops of all vertical guardrail posts. The process for installing the guardrail on the cased face where the ladder will be installed is similar to the last step. First, install guardrail section L37 to the existing post clips as shown here. Next, install guardrail section L35 to the L37 section and to the air inlet side guardrail assembly that was just installed. On larger models, install section L34 at the tower corner as shown here. Guardrail section L36 is not installed on this side of the cooling tower. Instead, the ladder connects at this location and the gap between the guardrail assemblies provides access to the fan deck. For more information on ladders, watch video 10 in this series, Ladder Assembly and Installation.
For more information on installing a Marley NC cooling tower, be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.